hello sir my name is ritik chhabda hello ritik i am second year student from economics department so i have a question like uh, these days relationships have become very casual like people meet they come in a relationship and then they break up in a week or more or less even in friendship we find people that once the people who are friends once they don't even talk to the talk to each other then what is the reason for all this like why is it happening see in the language of spirituality it is said that only the truth is timeless only the truth is something time cannot destroy hmm? have i already answered hmm um but sir like uh, for even for the short time for once we feel that we are emotionally connected the the degree of falseness of the relationship is inversely proportional to the duration of the relationship hmm? the more false the relationship is the shorter obviously it is going to be and that you could correlate to the short attention spans we have these days not that the attention spans have become shorter the thing you are attending to has become more and more false and because it is so false it is impossible for you to attend to it for a long time only the truth is beautiful and it can completely enchant you mesmerize you and make you stick to itself you become helpless and you cannot let go of the truth and therefore the relationship becomes long durable if not timeless at least sustainable but when you are relating to or concentrating on something utterly worthless or coming to even a worthy thing from a worthless point within yourself then the relationship cannot last and that's why uh, we have uh, such short lived friendships and love affairs these days the the ground itself was very shaky how long can the building last Hmm? why do you relate to someone or why do people relate to someone because you think you will get something as simple as that right if you get what you want you are done the relationship is exhausted after you have sucked all that you could from a mango fruit do you still keep carrying that large seed butli hmm the juice has been exploited right what remains is just the peel and the hard useless thing within throw it away and that's how we throw people away from our lives after having taken away whatever juice was there this is if there was any juice at all often you will pick up some stone or sand and expect some juice in it and there is no juice obviously so what do you do you dump so either way the thing cannot last if you got what you wanted then the thing is of no use anymore if you didn't get what you wanted the thing is again of no use so dump and move on hmm? when does a relationship remain sustainable relationship remains sustainable when there is 
beauty in it for you every moment beauty that is inexhaustible beauty that is not available to consumption beauty that time cannot erode if there is beauty of the kind that you can happily eat away then the beauty will be eaten away full stop are you getting it you go to a snacks bar how long can you stay there will you build your home there there is the hot dog mm, the hot dog is quite tempting you take the hot dog and then you walk out and that's how you walk out of a relationship the hot dog has been ingested the hot dog is in the stomach now what will you do standing there anymore yeah you can return some other day for some other hot dog a burger maybe this time when the entire philosophy of life is centered on consumption i exist to feed and fatten myself and by doing that i'll be happy then what will you remain with some human being for if you are with anything and everything just for the sake of fattening yourself consuming which is exploitation in a way then even with human beings you will remain only to consume them right and we get bored because other things are available to be consumed how long can you feast on hot dogs alone there are so many other delicacies you know and some hot dogs are sticky they don't want to let you go and then you disappear like a ghost that's the word these days ghosting no you block them from your social media you block their number as well and then you are never to be seen so like so what can be done to improve the situation like no the situation cannot be improved in that segment alone you cannot remain the person you are and yet be very good with your girlfriend not possible as long as you are the one you are you and your affairs and your relationships will remain as they are right now the entire world view has to change and before the world view your understanding of yourself has to change rather some understanding has to emerge in the first place we have no understanding to begin with zero we do not even value that kind of understanding for something to come to you first of all you must realize its worth no what's the point in self knowledge what's the point in knowing who i am and what i want no point and from that position of no point runs our entire life no point do you have a center no point no point is my center i'm centerless hmm? when you are centerless then yeah, like a rolling stone you can be found anywhere it has no center see i am i'm not advocating an arranged marriage like situation i'm not saying that you make friends in class 3 and spend your entire life only with them no that's not the intent i'm talking of the mind 
that looks at human beings, animals, the entire existence as means to ingratiate itself. Hmm? I look at the laptop screen, I look at this equipment, I look at the human beings, I look at the animals out there and my entire intention is how do I please myself using them. I am talking of this mind. This mind is a curse to itself and the entire world. Are you getting it? I am not talking of uh, remaining loyal. I am not talking of those hackneyed concepts of uh, fidelity and such things. I am talking of having an eye for the truth. I am talking of love, real love. And that is not going to be available to you, if you have that kind of a rotten view of life. Hmm? I know, uh, I am talking of a lot of things and it would be all over the place to you, you would not be able to make much sense of it. So, so I know that, huh? you would be um, a bit taken aback, what is going on. Uh, but you will have the recording, right? So, if you feel like, uh, go over it a few times and uh, if not today, maybe a few months down the line, it will make some sense to you. Hmm? You cannot have good things in life without firstly being good yourself, obviously. You are not good, how can you have good relationships? Hmm? Need I clarify, I am not talking about you in person. I hmm? am talking about everybody. So, so, what perception should we have in mind? Like, what? Do not go to the other. Do not go to the other, to begin with, at least to consume and exploit. Hmm? Try to have a certain self-sufficiency. Do not be dependent on the other in sense of the, the other being seen as your uh, fuel or food. Hmm? If you, if you, if you visualize a snake with a rabbit, a large snake, huh? Do you see how the snake coils itself round the rabbit? Huh? It is in some sense a very intimate embrace. No? And in that particular sense, when the lion is tearing the deer apart and gorging its innards into its own stomach. It is deep intimacy, is it not? I love you so much, I have made you a part of my body. There was separation a while back, now there is no separation, now we are one. Your body is not only close to my body, your body is now my body. See how much I love you. Hmm? 
in love making i suppose that's one of the phrases we use these days huh? eat me it's not just coincidental it's lion and deer don't you say i love chicken hmm? when you say you love something it means the thing is gone you will eat it up i love chicken how can the relationship last the chicken won't last the moment you love something it's gone the relationship cannot last i think sir i have enough clarity about it right no i'll be surprised if i have been of much use to you still this is what needed to be said at this moment i'm sure i have seeded something and the seed will sprout yes i can think like from a different perception now thank you uh, sir i have a follow up uh, to prithik bhaiya's question which was the question previous to this question you said that people rely on others to fuel themselves they see others as fueling them and i have seen a lot of times that uh, sometimes a person tries to build up a relationship be it a friendship or anything and when they don't get the equal response from the other side they start to blame the other person so what i always like say to my friends who suffer this thing is that it's all about priorities you have prioritized one person but that doesn't mean that he or she will prioritize you to the same level so you just need to be like go with the flow you just need to stick with your work if the other person also does prioritize you hey, what do you mean by oh, wait wait these are very hazy terms very hazy terms you said we do not get response from the other person what do you mean by response response means a lot of times if some person tries to make a friendship with other uh -huh. then their intention is to be a little bit casual but the other person is not comfortable at the moment i am not getting it i am not getting what do you mean by friendship what do you mean by friendship and why do you want to be friends with someone you look at someone and then you say i want to be friends why no that's the like for example if i see anyone who is actively participating in group discussions and other things and i find that he or she might benefit me in the coming years be it in the college life or anything else then i would try to be friend with him or her what do you mean by being friends i want to i want some clarity on that okay being friends means that uh, that person and like there is a stronger bond than just being a class what do you mean by stronger bond stronger bond means that that person is always ready to help me in uh, whenever i need help from him or her so that's what is called as exploitation no what i you are using you, are, you i mean an example that comes to my mind is the urinal always there for you but exploitation sir won't it be exploitation if i am just there only to use that person if no. i am okay you will you will you will you, you will use and clean what if i also contribute what if the fellow does not want your contribution you will impose your contribution no sir so what do you want then why is the other even in your mind no i am sending out feelers the fellow is not responding he is high on my priority list i am not high on her priority list what is this priority list priority of what what is this priority prior means before 
prior means higher. Higher than what? Higher than others, maybe. Huh? Because I personally don't. Accept higher than it. higher than uh, others in what sense? But I have to ask my friends about it. I don't have much knowledge. Then why do you give this question so much priority? If you have to ask your friends about it. No, not priority. I was just what. I explained to them it's that just don't think too much about it. Like what you said. What's your name, son? Devansh. Devansh, it is all about sex. What if it's for a boy and boy? Then it's again about sex. Sex is not just about penetrating the other's uh, organs. Seeking things for your physical self is sexual activity. Hmm? That's how sex is broadly defined in psychology. That's what Freud or Jung would call as the sexual motive. All that you want is stuff to further your physical self. Now that may or may not involve vaginal penetration. That may even mean you are getting things to you know, keep your body happy in other ways. It's all about physical satisfaction. Nothing more than that. Great. Got it sir. Thanks a lot. Wonderful.